Hello guys, here is Dr. MIH. This is the second episode to our first project, the three acids. Today we are making a piece of platinum catalyst that will be used in the next video to make nitric acid. The catalyst consists of a piece of glass wool with small platinum particles on it. This structure gives it a tremendous surface area, which is beneficial to our experiment. To do this, we need a piece of platinum, the hydrochloric acid that we made last time, hydrogen peroxide, and some glass wool. First, pour about 15 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to a 25 milliliter beaker, and then pour 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Put the piece of platinum into the mixture and stir gently. The platinum that I use here was a platinum wire that I bought online for a dollar. The platinum will slowly dissolve into the solution, but the reaction is very slow at room temperature. Therefore, we need to heat it up on a hot plate. Here is it 20 minutes later. It might not be obvious on camera, but the color is changing to a slight yellow. This is because the platinum reacts with hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid to form hexachloroplatinic acid, which is bright yellow in aqueous solution. Notice that the hexachloroplatinic acid has a bracket in its formula. This is because it is a coordination complex, where the chloride ions form coordination bonds with the central platinum to form hexachloroplatinate ions, with the hydrogen ions on the outside to balance the overall charge. Coordination complexes have different properties than normal compounds, and I might explain it in a future video. Here is a footage from an earlier run. You can see the yellow color more apparently. The reaction had gone for another half an hour, and it did not seem to work. The color did not change any further, so I transferred it to a crucible and heated it strongly. The solution eventually changed to a faint yellow, and I immersed about 0.2 grams of glass wool into it. Then, the glass wool is heated above the alcohol lamp. I lost my original footage, unfortunately, and this one is from the previous run. You can see the obvious yellow color of the solution. Upon heating, the yellowish glass wool slowly turns black on its surface. This is because the hexachloroplatinic acid decomposes in high temperatures to give hydrogen chloride, chlorine gas, and extremely fine particles of platinum that sticks to the glass wool. We continue to heat the glass wool and its surface eventually turned black. The catalyst was working very well. On camera, it is not that obvious, but the platinized areas of the glass wool is glowing brightly on the alcohol flame. The platinum accelerates the reaction between alcohol and oxygen, and since the reaction releases heat, the platinum continues to glow. Brief safety note. As you can see, the platinum catalyst produced in this way has an extremely high catalytic activity and could potentially light flammable gases, such as butane or hydrogen, on fire. Care must be taken when preparing the catalyst. As an example, here is a short clip by Astrochemistry on preparing the catalyst. He put the catalyst in front of a butane burner and the butane ignited on itself. I took many references on this video and his other video on making nitric acid. Both links will be provided in the description. Anyways, this is how you make a platinum catalyst. This is our finished piece of the catalyst and it will appear as the critical component in our next video. Thanks for watching and bye!